Are you a male or female who loves riding a mountain bike, but always ends up with a face full of dirt when out at the local trail? Well, with new, scientifically approved technology, you can protect your face in style with a convertible full face helmet. Party up top, business down below. With helmets such as the Bell Super Air R, shown in this promotional debut, you are sure to be the coolest rider on the trail. Donations receivable at the link below. Hello, and welcome back to the program. My name is Larry, and this is Your Own Adventure. Today, we'll be talking about convertible style mountain bike helmets. If you're interested in learning more about convertible style mountain bike helmets, and in particular, the Bell Super Air R, then continue watching. This specifically will be the helmet we will be discussing in today's video, the Bell Super Air R. But if you are unaware or uninformed about the term convertible mountain bike helmet, then we'll talk about that as well. Basically, it means the bottom of the helmet can be removed from the top half of the helmet, creating a lighter and more free ride out on the trail. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say that this is an easy method of madness, but it does come in handy from time to time. Only you will be able to determine whether or not a convertible mountain bike helmet is right for you. Very easy to, to uh, put the, the helmet back together. Very simple. Just a couple easy steps and it goes right back together here. Anybody could do it. And if you just have the patience and willpower, you can too utilize a convertible mountain bike helmet. Now, on a more serious note, if you are still here watching, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'll provide the support that I need to get through my day-to-day -day life with knowing that I am pleasing about 24 people out there online. If you are against subscribing to the channel, then please give it a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Either way, that'll do a little bit for my ego and help me again throughout the day whenever I'm thinking about this in my free time. Now let's get back into the discussion of convertible full face helmets. What gives me the right to create a video and discuss the do's or don'ts or pros and cons of helmets such as this. Well, I live in Florida. Now, we do have some pretty spectacular things in Florida, but a great climate, tasty waves, and downhill trails aren't included in the discussion. What we do have is very decent cross-country style riding, flat waves, and a lot of summer. That brings me to the discussion of the convertible full face helmet. It's hot in Florida, and if you live in the south, you might appreciate being able to take off the chin bar of your helmet. Not only is the chin bar detachable, the helmet itself is the lightest trail helmet on the market. In its full face configuration, it weighs about 600 grams. Without the chin bar, it's pretty much as light as a sack of cheeseburgers. Take into consideration the fact that most helmets on the market that are full face 
without a convertible chin bar weigh about 900 grams. So 300 grams does add up. And I ride this helmet in Florida through different conditions. And I will agree that it does a very good job at cooling my head. The takeaway here is the fact that if you are sweaty and like to have a cool head while also riding a full face helmet, then the convertible style helmet, in particular the Bell Super Air R, will probably be best for you. That is with one caveat, it is not downhill certified, so if you are riding park or very gnarly downhill trails, then I would probably stray away from this and upgrade to the Bell Super Downhill, the DH model. Anyways, let's get into the rest of the video and see what else we have in store. In today's program, we'll cover topics such as cost, durability and effectiveness, comfort, comparisons, and if the helmet is worth it. But hold on, wait, there's more. Are you here because you are a full-faced rider? Or are you a minimalist looking for a super light helmet? Use the phrase full face or minimal to share your opinion in the comments below. This helmet is brand new to the mountain bike market and as such has a pretty steep price tag. 275 US dollars. Let's just say it wasn't easy to pull the trigger on this helmet with so many others out there to choose from. But let's focus on the price and worry about other stuff later. Is this helmet worth the $275? Short answer, no. Long answer, yes. But realistically, it is your choice and riding that will determine if this is the right helmet for you. I'm sure you'll have a better idea by the end of this program. This helmet does not have a downhill certification. If you need the downhill certification, then this helmet is not for you. Would I wear this helmet on a downhill run or bike park specific trail? No. This helmet was made to be light and breathable while providing some protection to the jawline. Unlike fully rated downhill certified helmets, this helmet feels as if a light fall would take it out of commission. Not to say it won't protect your head in a gnarly crash. Let's talk about this for a minute. Would I or have I used a helmet that has been involved in a crash with impact to the helmet? Yes. Am I ashamed? No. I'll inspect my helmet and if no sign of catastrophic failure, I'm not going to trash it and stop riding it for the day. I'm not recommending you do this. You should probably buy a new helmet if you can. Why am I saying this? I do not anticipate the Bell Super Air R surviving a hit to the head of any magnitude and I wouldn't feel safe riding it again, at least not with the chin bar. Even a crash that doesn't involve an impact to the helmet would have me concerned. Biggest reason for the lightness of this helmet comes from the stripped down chin bar. It's a thin plastic that doesn't scream security. Here's my takeaway. Does it feel safe? Yes. Does it feel light? Yes. Does it feel long lasting? No. If you are prone to crashing and need protection, get the downhill certified helmet. Comfort is the biggest benefit of the Bell Super Air R. Not only is it the lightest trail helmet on the market, it's also one of the most comfortable full face helmets. A mixture of engineering and design has created an ultralight, airy helmet that disappears on the trail. I rode this helmet on an 85 degree day in Florida 
and it felt great. A lot of comfort comes from what little padding and interference there is on the face, which is a double-edged sword. This helmet is going to be the pick come summer, and if you like trail riding with a full face helmet all year long, this is a clear winner. Pictured is a list of all other convertible helmets on the market with the Bell Super Air R. Every single one of these helmets has a benefit that the other does not have, but I'm not here to compare this helmet to others. I'm here to tell you if it's worth it. Are any of these helmets on your shopping list? And why? I'll pin the best response in the comments below. Here's why this helmet outtrumps the rest, even with its downfalls. It's light and breathable. If you live in the south, this helmet just makes sense. It offers more protection and flexibility than a standard half shell with a very small additional weight. It's a great beginner's helmet because having the full face does offer more confidence. It's capable of any trails I'll be riding in the southeast and beyond. If and when I do find myself riding downhill park trails more frequently, I'll get a more solid helmet. For now, this is the best of both worlds. When I'm riding a local trail that I feel comfortable with, I'll likely keep the chin bar in the car. For more advanced trail systems with free ride technical trails, I'll keep the chin bar on. Use this information to help form your own decision on what helmet to buy. No kidding. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh, I didn't notice you were still here watching. I was just discussing with my colleagues behind the camera over there. We all decided and came to agreement that the Bell Super Air R is one of the best helmets on the market currently. This is going to be the lightest trail helmet offering a very cool ride while also offering a removable or additional chin bar to give you extra confidence when you are ripping the trails. Please, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. Do you think that this helmet is going to be the right decision for you? Please let me know down below. Fortunately for me, I live in a swamp and the trails are flat. I do not feel unsafe riding with this helmet, but if I lived in the Pacific Northwest, I would probably choose a different helmet. But there are compromises to be made with any helmet you choose. So again, please let me know your thoughts down below. What's your favorite helmet? And will you be buying one with your tax return this year? Again, please subscribe to the channel so I could fall asleep at night without tossing and turning, worrying about whether this channel will be successful or not. It's up to you to make that decision. Give this channel a thumbs up. Don't forget to go out there and create your own adventure however you can. Spread some positivity, and I'll see you on the next one. Aloha.